Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft equipped with ECRS MK2 radar system completes testing. A program of ground-based testing has been completed on a Eurofighter Typhoon test and evaluation aircraft equipped with the advanced new European Common Radar System ECRS MK2 radar ahead of flight trials, Royal Air Force RAF said in a statement. The work was undertaken by engineers at Base Systems Flight Testing Facility in Wharton, Lancashire, supported by teams from Leonardo UK, which has developed the radar at its Edinburgh and Luton sites. This included electromagnetic testing in a unique anechoic chain bay. Embodiment of this prototype new radar into the test aircraft is a positive step on the continuous evolution of Typhoon's control of the air capabilities, maintaining its sovereign freedom of action and preserving its technological advantage, said Group Captain D. Oban, Typhoon Program Director, RAF. The radar, contracted for by UK Ministry of Defence's Procurement Agency Defence Equipment and Support, will support RAF operations in the most challenging situations, equipping pilots with the ability to suppress enemy air defences using high-powered jamming and engage targets whilst beyond the reach of threats. Developed by Leonardo UK, the European Common Radar System Mark II Radar ECRS MK2 features a cutting-edge multifunctional array MFA. This allows the Typhoon to concurrently detect, identify, and track multiple targets, both aerial and terrestrial, while also executing electronic warfare operations. The radar prototype, which has undergone extensive ground-based testing at Base Systems Facility in Wharton, Lancashire, has now been successfully installed onto a UK Typhoon test and evaluation aircraft BS-116 by Base Systems. This integration signifies a major step forward in the aircraft's operational capabilities. This upgrade not only boosts the UK's defence prowess but also supports the Prime Minister's objective of economic growth. The enhancement program is expected to sustain around 1,300 high-quality engineering jobs across the UK over the next decade.